Hey guys, Megan here, and time for another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about The Forever Song by Julie Kagawa, and this is the third and final book in the Blood of Eden series. So, I'm standing right off the bat now, there are going to be spoilers in this video, since it's the last in the series, you know... I feel it's really hard not to give spoilers at this point, so I'm warning you now. So, I was really looking forward to this book, and I wasn't disappointed. Just want to say, look at that cover. Isn't it pretty? I don't know why I find this cover so pretty. I don't know if it's just the colors or the fact that it's shiny or both. I just, this cover really draws my eye. The only thing I have a problem with is, see that? That's not a sticker. When I first opened this book, because I pre-ordered it through the mail, opened the book up, opened the package up, looked at the book, and I'm like, oh, well, uh that's annoying, there's a little sticker there. Try and peel it off. It wasn't a sticker. And that... Uh, I don't know why that annoys me so much, but just... <laughs> it's one thing if it's a sticker and it leaves residue, which is a pet peeve of mine. But the fact that I can't even take it off is just... Why? Whose idea was that? Whose idea was that, really? So... Okay, getting back on track now. There are going to be spoilers from this point on, so... If you have not read this book yet, go read it now. And if you haven't started this series yet, what are you doing watching this video? Go wa read The Immortal Rules now. Alright, so for this book, it's... I don't know how to feel about it. I'm kind of weird with the final books in series that I really enjoyed. So... I did enjoy this book, but I have to say it's definitely not my favorite. So with that in mind, here we go. We start off the book pretty soon after we ended the last one. Cannon, Jackal, and Allie are searching for Saren. And yeah, they kind of want to kill him. He is going to Eden to try and release this new red lung virus on Eden and basically wipe out everything. His goal is to wipe out the entire world so the world can start afresh. Crazy much? I think so! So Jack O'Cannon and Allie are going to stop him. Allie is going more on revenge than anything because she thinks Saren has killed Zeke. I'm still don't know whether his name is pronounced Zeke or Zeke. So I might interchange though, so I am sorry. And Oh my god, Allie, for the first bit, is so cold and, like, she is basically like a jackal in training. So that's really disappointing to see, especially since, for the first two books, she has struggled so, so hard to hold on to her humanity. But now that Zeke is gone, she's basically given up on that. She has embraced the demon inside and is just, I don't care anymore! I don't care! I don't care! I'm a monster! Raw! And Cannon is so disappointed, but since she is technically not his student anymore, he... He cannot tell her what to do, and yeah, he's just not like that. But, but thankfully, Allie gets brought to her senses pretty soon after, where she had a choice between draining this poor woman or just taking a little blood to survive. She almost did not make the right choice. She almost killed the person she was feeding from. But at the last moment, when she realizes that woman has a kid, a little girl, she just stops and just realizes, holy crap, I... What am I doing? What am I doing? And she brings herself to her senses. So I like that. She makes the choice on her own to kind of try and reclaim her humanity. She didn't need to be guilt-tripped or anything. She made the choice on her own. And you know, that makes Cannon all happy because he's like, yes, one of my offspring has sense. And Jackal's just like, really? You two are such bleeding hearts. What the heck? I like this group's dynamic. They're, it's really amusing to read and I found it was really fun to read and just... <laughs> The three different personalities of these guys just mesh really well, and it's entertaining. So as they are going towards Eden, Saren's like leaving all sorts of like crazy like gifts for them, like little 
human communities just totally slaughtered and like brutalized. And it's just like, this guy is freaking insane. Not that we didn't know that already, but you know, it never hurts to reestablish this. So a lot of the book is them getting to Eden. They have to go through old Chicago where a jackal like has his little raider army and everything. And the raiders are turned on him. Apparently there's this new vampire in town who has promised the person who kills Jackal and his little crew gets immortality, aka being turned into a vampire. So everyone thinks, oh, Saren, we know we gotta take him out now. So they go to Jackal's old HQ and, you know, Allie gets separated from Jackal and Cannon and she's like, I gotta do this. He wants to challenge me? Okay, let's do this. Though she's, you know, freaking terrified. Turns out this new head honcho vampire is Zeke. So, yeah, Saren turns Zeke into a vampire. I, would, I wish I could say that wasn't super predictable, but that was really one of the few options that could have happened based on where we left off on the last book. But, on the bright side, Zeke, there is a little more challenge with him. He is totally insane like Saren. Saren's basically like forced his will onto Zeke, which is like something vampires don't really do anymore because they see it as like primitive. So Zeke is basically an insane little lackey to Saren now and tries to kill Allie. So I like that takes a little while for Allie to like break through to Zeke and yeah I kind of like how that is done you know it's just not all happy reunion it's a little more like of a struggle. What annoyed me though was Zeke once he was back like in control of himself in his own mind without Saren controlling him and it's he just comes off as really whiny and I'm just like really? I understand you never wanted to be a vampire. This choice was forced on you. I understand that, and I can understand you being a little mopey about that, but holy crap, Zeke. He's all, like, complaining about not being able to control himself, like, how the hunger is always there, and he's a monster now. And I'm just like, you are such a hypocritical little brat. Because, you know, Ali was, like, pretty much saying more or less the same exact things for the last two books, not only to him, but to everyone else and to herself. And Zeke was trying to always reassure her, like, no, someone who fights so hard to stay in control and be good isn't evil, yada, 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 you're not a monster, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, here he is not listening to his own words. And it's just like, that drives me crazy. And, you know, Ali's trying to get through to him, like, no, you aren't a monster, just like you told me I'm not a monster, you're not one either. And just the fact that it takes so long for him to get it through his thick head, I just want to, like, take a book and smack him over the head with it. Thankfully, eventually, he gets it drilled into his thick skull. And Enon is not like it was when Zeke left. Apparently, most of Enon is now in this, like, weird, awkward, in-between place, between this wall they have around Lake Erie and the island itself. Because apparently one day, like a week or so ago in book time, there was a random barge, you know, floating across the lake, hit the island that Eden is on, and all these rabbits just kind of burst through, and they're like really sick rabbits, and just so many people die, and it's, it's so sad to think about that. And it's all because one stupid crazy vampire. So, Ali, Zeke, Jackal, and Cannon all go to the island to try and find Saren and stop him from finishing whatever he's doing and try and save Eden. So, apparently this new red lung virus affects the rabbids as well, and that's how Saren plans to spread the virus through the rabbids. So, all the rabbids are sick, so now they're gonna have them all go back to the mainland and spread this new run long plague and wipe out the earth. And there's this awesome epic showdown between like Cannon and Saren and Allie and Z Cops in there. And Jackal actually helped. I thought the end battle was really intense. They do defeat Saren, which made me so happy, and the fact that it was like a huge team effort that helped this be possible and not just one person. Oh my god. I suffered so many feels with canon. It's not even ha it's not even funny. 
I really was surprised at that. We find out that the cure for this new disease is in canon. The whole, like, missing element to this cure for Robinism was Master Vampire Blood. Canon's a, ma a Master Vampire. And he has the... He has the trial vaccines that were given to Zeke in his blood. So, if he throws himself into this pit of rabbits and they kill him and tear him apart, the cure will get into them and the plague will be no more. I kind of like how that was done because Red Long and just this whole mess was pro pretty much Cannon's fault and he has been looking for a way to atone for this big sin of his since it happened and now he has the chance to do that by giving up his own life to do that and I I thought that was well done, but it was so sad. It was really, really sad. So that's what happens, and I got really emotional with that, surprisingly. So, <laughs> canon. <laughs> and the cure is also in Allie, and we find out that she is a master vampire. With Allie, as well as the, with the help of what scientists are left with at Eden, they managed to come up with this good vaccine to help cure rabbinism. And we end the book with Zeke and Allie, after helping rebuild Eden, ha they have this big cooler of all the vaccines, and they're going to start help sp by help spreading the cure for Adventism to everyone. So, overall for the series, I did enjoy it. Can't say it's my favorite series, but I really, really, really did enjoy it. And if there were more books, like a sequel series or a spinoff, I would totally pick up and pick that up and read it because I I'm curious to see what kind of happens with this world now that Rabinism is gone. See what new society humanity and vampires alike will come up with. That is it for this week's book review. If anyone has any further book suggestions for me let me know and goodbye.